Okay, it's seven o'clock. And in one hour, we're getting four brand new prisoners. We've got our yard here that these guys can go and check out during their free time in the morning. And when we get the money tonight, we can hook up the sh oh oh we need power. We need power for our shower room, and uh, and we need a and we need a, a shower head. So let's see. We'll designate this area as a shower for now. There we go. And as soon as we get a shower head in there, these guys can come up there when they're feeling dirty, and just go and wash themselves clean. And in the yard, I think, old Conan O'Brien here can get some exercise, and maybe Mr. T and Ron will get a little bit less bored when they've got time in the yard to just spend mucking around doing crap. Maybe I should put an exercise bench in the yard, actually. That would make sense. But how much do these cost? Let's take a look. The weights bench costs $100. That's not too bad. Oh, these guys want a TV, though. Maybe we should have, like, a... Oh! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, that's disgusting! <laughs> that's terrible! Guys, stop it! Please, please, please! And on that note, I'm going to check out the new prisoners. Oh, my God. Who are these guys? Hello, guys. Welcome to the party. So, breakfast must be soon. Let's check the regime. Eat time is at 1 p.m. 10 a.m. is free time. 8 a.m. is shower. Unfortunately, we have no shower head, so these guys are just bumping around in here naked. This is horrible. <laughs> this is a horrible scene. Once these guys are done, I'm sure, yeah, just get out of there. Get out of there. Put some clothes on, guys. Seriously. And here we go. We've got now... Oh, we've got three prisoners in this cell and four in this. Ah, here's Eddie. Here's Eddie. Eddie Murphy coming in. Oh, dear. He's put five prisoners in this cell. That's a mistake. Oh, no. Shaft is homesick. Well, you should have thought about that again before you commit the crime, Shaft. Right, so the big question is, when dinner time hits, will our new setup for the canteen work? Will our serving bench over here actually be able to give the prisoners the food they need and will they sit on this bench here and eat the food like they're supposed to let's wait and see here we are free time into the yard oh yeah these guys are in the yard now get an exercise be bopping around looks like these guys are break dancing a bit oh yeah good job good job guys materials grass oh we could put grass down in the yard so that these guys can, you know, just mess around in the yard. Maybe put some flowers in. Oh, that'd be nice, yeah. This guy's got a rake out. He's going nuts with the rake. Let's see what the other guys are doing. Jackson's still bored. Maybe we could put a TV in the holding cell for him. I think people would enjoy that. These guys are still just bored, sitting around. And Shaft is homesick, but there's not a lot we can do about that because we're sure as shit not sending him home. No way. Actually, I think this guy looks kind of like Biff. Biff from Back to the Future. Yeah, we'll call you Biff, I think. Biff. Right, it's coming up to 1 p.m. And you know what that means, guys? That means it's time to eat. So, oh, get out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen, Conan. Jeez. So, Pierre has got his work cut out for him. Cooking up. Oh, look at those sausages. Oh, sausage. Sausage and, and cabbage, is that? No, it can't be cabbage. Pierre's had a nasty run in with cabbage. Isn't that right, Pierre? Oh, do not remind me. I hate civet cabbage. I hate... I will never cook another meal with cabbage again, ever. No, sir. Oh, the bacon and the sausages are cooking up nicely. Good job, Pierre. And there we go. The vegetables are down. And there go the sausages. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look tasty? Delicious. So that's what? Seven and three? So that's ten pieces of food. So I'm sure these guys can uh, work out how to eat when 1 p.m. comes around. Here we go. Tick tock. So here it is. 1 p.m. Chow down, guys. Supper's up. Food's up. Come on. Get your food. Get it. Get it while it's hot. Oh, and there they are, sitting on the bench. Ah, but some of them are stuck because there are not enough benches, it seems. But when these guys finish eating, surely these other guys will just pick up their food and go and eat as well. There we go. Yeah, that's the ticket. So go on, guys. Oh, oh, the, oh. Put the rake down. Put the rake down, Busby. Oh, Biff's got the rake. So go on. Eat, eat up, guys. Eat up. What's going on? Why, why aren't you guys eating? 
There we go. Oh, come on, get your food. Oh, there's no food. Where's all the food gone? This is confusing. So we've got Pierre here. We've got a chef. Do we need another chef? Is that what we need? No, we can't do. We need three meals. Where are the meals? Where are the meals, Pierre? This isn't, this isn't right. I think some of our prisoners are just taking all the food. And so the other prisoners just aren't getting any food. Wow, this is like a horrible situation with pets. Where one pet takes all the food. Um, hmm. Why can't you just be civilized, prisoners? Why can't you just be civilized gents? And arrange a queue. And go and get yourself some food. And not deprive your fellow prisoner man of food for himself. Oh my god. So what are we going to do? How are we going to remedy this? I don't know. I think we've got to wait until 12pm. Before we can get more cash. And before we can dive in. And give these prisoners all the things they need. Like entertainment. A shower head. And stuff to do in the yard. Oh! Oh! Oh no! He's got a knife! He's got a knife! He's got a knife! Oh no! The prisoners are escaping! What's going on? No! Stop! Stop! Jeff! Jeff! Take him out, Jeff! Take him out! Give him hell! Introduce him to Mary Sue! Introduce him! Oh, Ron! Oh my god! No! Jeff's unconscious! Ron has made a dash! Oh! This is not good. This is... Jeff! 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 No! Oh, rest in peace, Jeff. Oh, and Conan O'Brien. They bit the dust, and we have to say a fond farewell to old friends. So we've come back to the main menu now. Our old prison there, well, it was a disaster, wasn't it? There was a weird gangbang in the showers. Somebody got a knife. I think Jeff got shanked. Conan got beaten over the head with a club. Nasty. So what we've done is we've come back to the main menu, and this is Alpha 4. See, the previous version we were using was Alpha 2. But now Alpha 4 has been released, so it's time to make a new prison under this new client. So let's jump in. We'll create a new prison. And, uh, ooh, fog of war. You will lose visibility of the inside of your prison buildings unless you have guards patrolling the area or CCTV cameras. Well, we want to see what's going on in our prison, so we're going to turn that off. And we're going to turn off continuous intake as well, because, well, I don't want to have to handle eight new prisoners every day. That's pretty intense. So with those off, and the size set to large, Oh, yeah. Let's hit the play button. Now we come over to the deliveries in the garbage area. And let's see, there should be a truck full of workers. Yep, there they are. Wally workers. Off to our prison. And there should be a truck of supplies as well following them. That might come... Oh, there it is. There it is. All the supplies we'll need. Bricks, mortar, concrete, all that good stuff. Right, so I've taken a look at how other people have built their prisons, and I've taken a look at the comments section to get tips from you guys on how we should build our prison. And one of the things I did not see before was in the reports section down here, there's a grants tab. And under the grants tab, we can get a massive amount of cash for doing these little tasks that have been set out for us in the grants section. So what we're going to do is we're going to accept the grant to turn an empty field into a functioning prison. This government contract gives you the funds necessary to build the absolute minimum facilities for your first set of prisoners. Okay, click on that. Boom. Oh, yeah. We've got 50 grand in the bank. And that gives us a new set of tasks to do on our to-do list. As the Wally workers are dropping off the bricks and mortar. Oh, look. Ingredients for cooking as well. We've got a list of things that we have to build to get our prison up and running. So let's go. And we've got 50 grand to make it look swish, make it look really nice. And no holds barred on any of the things that we're going to put in this prison. It's going to be a deluxe Supermax facility. Not too deluxe, but it's going to be a swish place. So let's do it. Let's close the reports tab. And okay. First up, we need to, I think, fence off the area where things get dropped off. Because I've seen other people's prisons where they've built fences around the whole perimeter. There we go. There's fence. How much is this? Oh, it doesn't have any cost. Great, so what we can do is we can put fence around the deliveries area, like this. There we go. That's down. Along here as well. Boom. Have to move that tree, Wally. And along here, like this. And then... Oh, plonk one there as well. And then bring it up so it connects over here. And then what we can also do is put in some gates 
so that the trucks and vans and prisoner supply drops and things like that can get through that. So let's take a look. Objects. Is there a gate? Let's see. I think we might have to use the uh, jail door large, but that's okay. Plunk one, uh, plunk one there. And we'll plunk one there. And that should be big enough for the truck to get through, I think. Let's take a look. There's no fence gate here in the material section, is there? No, there isn't. So that to get in. And then we'll put two more doors down here to get out. Objects. Jail door large. Boom. Oh. Job queued. Oh, we have to construct the fence first. Come on, Wallies. Get down here and construct this fence. Okay, the fence is almost built. Let's get the gate in there. There we go. One built. Let's plonk a gate there. And another one built. Let's plonk the gate there. Great. Now what we'll need is a pathway so that people can see which way to go when they get off the bus. So you go this way, guys. And we'll put a fence gate in the fence here as well. So options, jail door large, middle mouse to flip it. And we'll plunk it there. And okay, we've got our little fenced off area where all the garbage and the deliveries go. So basically, when the prisoners come in on the bus, they'll go through this gate. And then if they decide to, you know, get fresh with Jeff or any of the guards that are taking them off the bus, and if they make a run for it, they can't go anywhere because there are gates and fences all around. No escape for these jokers. Let's get some materials. Get some more paving stone. And bring... Ooh. Well, what's that gate there for? It looks a bit off. Oh no, there it is. Excellent. So we'll get some paving stone there to bring a path along here. Now, first up we need our office block, which we're going to put right here, I think. So we'll get some foundations. Building. And let's plunk it about there, I think. Make it one bigger. There we go. Perfect. And this will be where we put our warden, our lawyers, all those lovely things. Well, lawyers aren't so much wonderful things, but the rest of them are. Now, we will need a kitchen and a cafeteria area. We're going to put that, I think, here. So we'll... Oh, no, let's just cancel that. If we can, if we can, yep. I'll bring it two away from the path, so we've got an area where we can put greenery. And I'll just put this along here. This is going to be both a kitchen and a cafeteria, and it's going to be nice and big. So the prisoners can come along here and chow down with the security of the four walls surrounding them. What I'm also going to do, actually, is build this fence around. This is going to take a long time to build. But I'll get a fence around the entire compound. So down to there. There we go. Bring it along here. Whoa! That's a long fence. I hope we didn't waste all our money on fence. But it does say it's free. There's no cost. And then we'll bring the fence. I don't know. We'll wait with the fence because we want to get our building sizes down first. Now let's go to foundations again. And we need a building for the cell. This is the cell block. So I'm going to have the cell block be... Uh, oh, no. Let's come out two from that building, give two spaces for path, two more spaces for grass, and then there we go. And this is going to be a big building. So we're going to stretch it along like that, and then, oh yeah, $5,000 this costs, but it'll be well worth it because we're going to fit so many prisons in here. And plonk, down it goes. So all we need now is a yard area, a shower area, a holding cell area, and two guards and two chefs. Right, so that's going to be the canteen there and the kitchen. That's the offices. The shower... Well, I don't know where the shower's going to go. I think we're going to put the yard... Hmm. Now, I'll put the, I'll put the holding cell here, near the near the entrance, so that they have somewhere to go right off the bat. So I'll plonk that. It's going to be um, quite a small one. I'll plonk that there. If 
I can. No, actually, I'm going to make this a larger building and give it a bit of space. Wait, I'll move that two away so that I've got space to put paving. And there we go. I think that looks about the right size. Bam. Hey, presto. And then we will have an area here for the shower and the yard. All right. Well, let's bring the fence around now that we've got our area roughly mapped out in our heads.